Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy fall, happy early holidays. I am so excited to be sitting here filming with you guys. In today's video, we are going to be doing my updated makeup routine. This is my tried and true makeup routine that I use all year round because it is winter, spring, summer, fall friendly. It's ultra simple, it's ultra easy, and almost all products were purchased at the drugstore, so they are wallet friendly. Makeup and hair videos were some of the common comments that I saw under my video, so I thought I would give this to you guys. So if you would like to see how I achieve this makeup look, then just keep on watching. So I went ahead and did my brows and my lashes off camera. They always take the most time. For brows today, I used the Morphe Brow Cream in the shade Java. It just looks amazing on my brows, as you can see. And for lashes, I used my brand, the Prestige Beauty Bar Lashes. They aren't on sale right now, but just to give you kind of a peek of what they look like, this is them. So let's go ahead and get started on our base. Now everybody wants that airbrush makeup look, but a lot of people don't know that a good makeup base starts with the skin. And if you are not taking care of your skin, if you are not taking care of your skin it doesn't matter how expensive or what ingredients are in your makeup products it's not going to give you that airbrush look so if you are not taking care of your skin start now for primers today i use the maybelline master prime primer base this is the blur and pore minimize and then i also use the milk hydro grip primer i use this one for my t-zone to minimize the appearance of my pores and i use the hydro grip to make sure that the foundation actually sticks to my skin and they work so well together for foundation today we're going to be using my favorite this is the nars natural radiant Longwear foundation I love this foundation, especially in the fall and winter months, because it really gives that skin that luminous summer glow, and it gives that second skin look, but it does not look cakey, it does not dry down cakey, so we're gonna go ahead and go in with this. And I'm gonna take a damp Real Technique sponge, make sure you wring out your excess water, and then I'm just gonna take a couple dabs of it, and start pressing that into the skin leaving the under eye area open because we're going to go in with two concealers today and so i want to have the least amount of product on there as possible Okay, so now that my foundation is blended in, and as you can see, I'm looking in my mirror, it looks so amazing on the skin. We're gonna go ahead and jump into concealer, which I am ultra excited to show you guys my new concealer routine. I'm actually gonna be using two concealers today. I'm gonna be using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C12.5, and I'm also gonna be going in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Now, I know you're looking at both of these like Michaela. One is clearly a nice concealer for your skin tone and the other one looks like it's made for a white girl. But let me show you why I'm about to use both of them together. So I'm gonna go ahead and start out by putting the Makeup Revolution Concealer right here on the outer corner of our eye. We just want to use this to lift and to give the eye some shape and we really don't want to bring this in the inner portion because we're gonna be using that e.l.f. concealer as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of spot concealing because I have some hormonal blemishes coming in. And now I'm gonna take that same damp beauty sponge I used to blend out the foundation to blend this concealer out. So the reason I left this inner portion of my under eye open is because I want to use the e.l.f. hydrating concealer to really give that brighter under eye. I love that look. I'm gonna insert a picture of one of my fave makeup artist beauty influencers that does the bright under eye look. Her name is Nezra Looks, and she really owns the bright under eye look, and I love it. And so that is where my inspo comes from. So now I'm gonna take the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This one is in the shade Fair Rose, and I'm gonna take it and put just a a couple dots of it 
right in that inner corner like I said we don't want to do too much because we don't want to create a white cast but we do want to brighten up that under eye so I'm going to take that same beauty blender or a real technique sponge and just blend and keep it concentrated right here Okay, so now that I have the concealer all blended out, as you can see, it just really brightens the under eye without giving it that look of flashback. That's why we use the normal concealer to make sure that it blends out smoothly in the face and it doesn't create this look of separation between the very bright concealer and the not so bright so my skin is very oily and i have a lot of creases under my under eyes so we're going to go ahead and set this under eye makeup we're going to be using two powders we're going to be using the morphe bacon set banana rich powder this is going to be setting the outer portion of that under eye concealer and it's also going to be used to set the forehead the chin and everywhere else we applied the makeup revolution concealer and then we're also going to be using Using the Maybelline fit me loose setting powder in the shade fair to set this inner portion of the under eye to make sure it stays bright I'm gonna take both of these powders on this real techniques setting brush this is the best brush for under eye setting so I'm gonna go ahead and dip into these and set these under eyes Okay, so now that I have set my face and I'm just looking in this mirror and I want y'all to get into this base. This base, it's everything. I don't care what anybody says, it's everything. And that's why it's so important to make sure that you are blending everything out because the transition from the lighter powder to the darker powder, you can't tell because I take my time making sure everything is blended, making sure everything is pressed in. I want to make sure that my makeup is set because that's how you get it to last. That is the point of your setting powder. So now let's move on. So now that our powder is on and our face is being set, we're gonna go ahead and seal all that in with setting spray before we even move on to our next step of blush contour etc etc so i'm first going to go in with the ColourPop pretty fresh hyaluronic acid setting mist i love using this especially in the cooler months because it really sets the makeup but it also gives you the illusion of that summer glow without your skin looking oily or greasy so we're going to go ahead and just set this all over and now we're going to move on to the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist just to make sure that our makeup is locked and that it is in place. Perfect. So now that our base has been set, let's go ahead and move on to contour. So a trick that I always like to tell women of deeper complexion is a lot of times contours are not made for us. And even though I am not on the extremely darker side of the spectrum of makeup it still is hard for me sometimes to find a contour shade that is truly a contour shade so my trick is to use a foundation powder as your contour and so for my contour today i'm going to be using the fenty beauty pro filter soft matte foundation powder this is in the shade 470 it is a nice rich powder it is very deep and it's going to be perfect perfect for me to use for contour. So I was using the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour, but as you can see, it's very ashy. It's not really dark. And as a matter of fact, I think my complexion is darker than this powder. And then look at that compared to the Fenty Beauty powder huge difference so i am going to use this big morphe m527 brush i'm going to dip into the contour and then i'm going to contour my cheeks my forehead and up under the jawline
Okay, so I have went ahead and added all the contour onto my face. And I haven't done this in a while, but I did decide to add a little bit of setting powder to bake up under the contour just to make sure it's ultra sharp and sculpted. And as you can see, it's doing its job. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to blush and highlight while this is baking. And then we're gonna dust this off. For blush, I'm gonna be using my new favorite, the Juvia's Place Blushed Rogi Volume 1. This is an excellent blush palette, especially for someone who is just getting into blush because it has these nice shades here. We have this terracotta orange shade and this deep plum purple shade, which are both perfect for deeper skin tones. And they're also perfect for somebody just getting into blush because it's not as harsh as a bright rose pink or as a bright cool pink. So I'm actually gonna take this on a Real Techniques 400 blush brush we're gonna dip into both shades because I love this palette that much I want to use both make sure you dust off that excess powder and I like to take my blush in the same place that I take my highlight I don't like to bring it in here because it's going to disrupt the under eye powder that we have here and I want it to continue to look lifted so I'm just going to press up and I'm not gonna bring it down because I don't want it to hit my contour. I'm just gonna press it ever so slightly in an upward motion right into my hairline. And as you can see, it's nice and blended. It gives just the right amount of warmth to the skin. And we're gonna go ahead and do the other side. So now let's move on to highlight. For highlight today, we're gonna be using one of my faves, the Artist Couture Jackie Ina Collab. This is a really beautiful, like rose gold shimmer highlight. It's a loose powder, so I don't wanna tilt it over. I'm gonna take this on a e.l.f. highlighting brush. Make sure that you dust off that excess loose powder. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna apply it right here in just a very light-handed motion. You can always add more highlight, but once it's on there, it's on there. And as you can see, it just gives a nice, subtle glow to the skin. It looks amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this on my nose, on the other side of my cheek, and at my temples, and go ahead and finish this up. Now that all of our powders are on, I'm gonna go ahead and dust off this bake with this same precision blush brush. Just make sure that we dust and pat in all of that powder. And as you can see, it gives us a nice sharp cut contour, which is exactly what we wanted. Just make sure you continue to blend that powder up because you wanna keep the nice cut cheek you just made. So press and then buff up. Now that we have all of our powders on, we're gonna go ahead and do one more mist of setting spray. Let's move on to the lips and wrap up this look. For lips, we're gonna go on with my tried and true lip liner, the NYX Espresso Lip Pencil. I'm gonna just do a light line here. I like to make my top lip really overdrawn. It's actually my favorite part, but I'm gonna stop talking so I can do this. So you guys can just watch me line my lips really quickly. Now that the lips have been lined, we're gonna go over top with some lip gloss. I'm gonna be using the Prestige Beauty Bar Gloss in the shade Peach Deluxe. And then I'm also gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Sweet Mouth. I like the Peach Deluxe shade because it adds some color to my lips as more opposed to the Fenty Beauty Gloss that really just makes the lips shiny. Now I'm gonna take the Sweet Mouth Gloss Balm just to give it some nice sheen. Okay guys, so I'm gonna change really quickly, come back, and then we're gonna wrap up this makeup look. 
Alrighty guys, and this is the final look. It is ultra simple, it's ultra easy, and if you had noticed, almost all of my products used today were drugstore and wallet friendly. Be sure to click that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and give it a big fat thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will be posting new videos every Sunday starting this Sunday at 4 o'clock p.m. So make sure that that notification bell is set to on. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!